Ever since I was young, I wanted to make some really cool video edits, kind of like the old Call of Duty sniping montages. Those were like super cool to me and they still are pretty cool, but I just didn't have the dedication and time to do it because I wasn't really trying to sit there for hours editing, just doing cuts after cuts after cuts to just get something that was kind of mediocre. CapCut literally makes it super easy. You can do it within 30 minutes, something that would take hours on any other software. And that's why I really like this. Also, you can do that on your phone or on PC. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use the mobile version to make these really cool edits. Now, I've never seen any software as good as this on mobile, so I figured I might as well make a video on it. Also, thank you CapCut for sponsoring this video. I've been using CapCut for so long, so I can definitely recommend it to everyone watching. It's, it's amazing, honestly, and it's completely free. So without further ado, let's get started. The links for CapCut PC and CapCut Mobile will be down in the description below. All right, so the first thing you wanna to do to download it on mobile is to go to the Play Store or the Apple Store and search up CapCut. It should be the first result. It's this one right here. Go ahead and download that and click on open. What makes this app so awesome is the fact that there is no ads, there's no watermark, and you can post your videos directly to TikTok, which is super cool as well. It just makes everything so much easier to do and it's all free. All right, so let's go over this main menu real quick. So first you'll see at the top left, you have a camera button, which will let you take pictures and videos within the app so you don't have to import them in later. It'll all be within the app already, which makes it super convenient. Next up, we got retouch, which is mainly for people that show faces in their videos because it'll let you alter faces by making your forehead smaller. You can add makeup. There's a bunch of other features as well. I recommend checking that out if you guys do stuff like that. Next up, we got captions, which I'll show you real quick. Let's go ahead and click on this video I'm gonna be using in the video. This is from a guy named Tanker, I believe. It's a Roblox YouTuber. We're gonna be making a sniping montage. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to do subtitles, also known as captions. So go ahead and click on captions and click on your video and click add. Now you'll see here auto captions pops up. And these are some free features you can use right now. Um, basically, dynamic captions and identify filler words and pauses makes it more realistic and smooth. Clear current subtitle removes all the subtitles that are already there. Let's leave all that and click start. It'll take a second, but it's generating captions right now. Okay, so I identified all of them. So you can see here is the entirety of the video in words. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what it looks like. If you guys wanna edit the text, I recommend selecting all of it to edit all of them at the same time and clicking edit down here. Now you can see there's a bunch of options. We have font, so let's make the font a little bit thicker like this. You can go to style and change the style of it. You can add some strokes, shadows, all this stuff. We're going to go with these presets right here and I'm going to choose the yellow one. Okay. You can change the size of it by just dragging and let's go to effects. Some of these are pro. If they say pro at the top left, that means you have to pay for it. But if not, they're completely free and there's a ton of free options. So let's go with this one, see what it looks like. Let's find one we like. That one's pretty cool. It's like RGB, let's click on that. And there's a bunch of buttons right here so you can choose different ones, like different categories. Now let's go to bubble. This will make it like bubble text, which I don't like doing, but if you want to, you can. And if you want to disable it, just click on this right here. Now, animation is super cool as well. So there's in, out, loop, and caption. In adds an animation to the intro of the text, so it pops up. Out, obviously, is the outro of the text, so it makes it disappear. Loop just keeps on playing over and over. You see a flash, image overlay, jiggly, bunch of other settings. Caption is really cool too. This basically just follows your talking and animates it. So I'll show you right here. The border pop up as you're saying the words, it pops up behind the word. There's a bunch of other ones. And there's there's a lot. So I recommend using caption. That's my favorite one or in. That's what I use mainly. Um, OK, so let's go ahead and just click on this check mark to complete the captions. And let's go back to the main menu by clicking this X at the top left. 
So now you can see down here, it is saved in the local menu. So now if you click on it again, you can get back into that project and it auto saves too, which is really awesome. So if it crashes or you accidentally close it, it'll still be there. Next up, we have auto cut up here, which basically just auto cuts a video for you, which is amazing because you don't have to do any work. So if you don't want to edit, but you want to make a cool edit, click on auto cut. It'll analyze the clips and I'll show you what it'll do in just a second. So there's a bunch of presets down here with music. Look at this. It's already editing it for me, which is pretty cool. There's a ton of different options. And you can also make all these manually. So all the stuff you're seeing in these presets, you can actually do yourself. So I'm going to click that X and I'm going to go back. Last thing is prompter, which basically just puts a script of your choice on the screen while you record. So you can follow it super easily while you're recording. Um, down here, you'll see there's a four options. There's template, inbox, and me. So template has a bunch of different templates you can use. Then there's me which basically just has your information. You can join CapCut Pro by clicking this, which I recommend if you really want to take editing seriously, it is so worth it. Um, I would definitely recommend this. And it's a lot cheaper than other softwares that do way less. So let's go ahead and click on that X. But you can also use it for free, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of stuff you can do for free. There's nothing in my inbox right now. So let's go to Edit, and let's go ahead and start a new project. So click on New Project right here. And I'm going to be using a video from Tanker, I believe his name is. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to be making a sniping montage like back in the day. Like I always wanted to do, but I'm going to be doing it in CapCut on my phone. So let's go over some of these settings real quick. So at the top left, you'll see there's an X that takes you back to the main menu. Right here, you can see you can change the quality of your video from 480p to 4K. I'm going to stick with 1080p. And I'm going to go with 60 frames per second. That's how smooth your video is. So 24 is not as smooth as 60, so I'm gonna go with 60. Okay, this one right here, we'll worry about later. That's the export button. Down here, you can see this is your time on your timeline. So we're at zero seconds right now. And as I'm scrolling, you'll see the number gets bigger. Now I'm at a minute and 26. Right here's the play button. Right here's the undo and redo button. So if you make a change, you can undo it by clicking this one and you can redo it by clicking that one. This one right here will full screen your video. So if you want to watch the preview with the big screen, you can just press that full screen button. So now let's start editing our video. So first things first, let's say I want to mute this audio because I don't want to hear talking right now. So I'm going to hit pause and scroll all the way to the left of the screen and click on this mute button. Now let's say you don't want to mute the entirety of this track, unmute it. Click on just the clip that you want to mute. Go down here and scroll over to volume. Now you can turn this all the way down and it is now muted, but just this clip is. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to cut. So let's go over to where we want the video to actually start. I'm scrolling. I want it to start at about right here. By the way, if you pinch your fingers, you can zoom out of the timeline or you could zoom in to get those precise cuts. We're gonna be zoomed in for this one because there's gonna be a lot of cuts that need to be exact. So right here is where I'm gonna start the video. I'm gonna click on the video track and click on split. This will split it into two parts. So now we can click on that one that we don't want and click delete right here. So now the track goes all the way to the left of the screen and is now the start of the video. But now it's just kind of boring and there's no music or anything like that. So let's go ahead and add some music. So you'll see below your video track, it'll say add audio. So go ahead and click on that. There's sounds, effects, extracted, record. Record, you can just record a voiceover or something. Extracted, you can extract it from your own videos and use it as audio. Effects, obviously there's like laugh tracks, different sound effects like gunshots and all that stuff. So I could actually use a gunshot for when he shoots. So let's go ahead and hit that plus sign right here. And let's move that to where he gets his first shot. So you can hold on that audio track and bring it over to where you want it to be. So right here is where he gets the kill. It'll auto snap to that. So now if we hit play, you'll hear that gunshot. Pretty cool. And if you click on that audio clip right here, there's a bunch of options down here as well. 
You guys can mess around with those. Um, maybe we don't want it to be so loud, so let's turn the volume down. Voice effects. This is cool. It's like a voice mod built in CapCut. So if you're talking, you can make yourself sound like a robot or chipmunk. That's super cool as well. Hit that check mark. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting up the video. So the first kill is about right here. So I'm going to go right here, click on the video track and click on split. And I'm going to do that for every kill. And now we can start editing this. So let's zoom out and let's add some music. So go down here to sounds at the bottom left. And you'll see there's a bunch of built in songs that are actually royalty free. So you don't have to worry about getting copyrighted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up a genre like so funk. Let's click on funk. And I'm going to find a song that I like. I need a slower one. So I'm going to go with this one. And hit this plus sign right here to add it to your timeline. And it's a little bit off to the right. So let's hold on that and drag it to the left. But now it's not synced up, so I'm going to have to sync up the music with the clip. So let's find where the beat drops. Which I can see right here, it gets big right there. So that's where I want the first shot. So I'm just going to click on that, split it and just delete this first clip and drag it all the way over here. So I'm going to line up the drop with the split. So like right there. And now there's a little bit off in the beginning like there's nothing here right so click on that audio track and hold on this button right here and drag it all the way to the left so now see that now it syncs up now with every 808 bass we're gonna have to sync up the video clips to it so there's the second one so let's go ahead and click on this track and bring it all the way over here okay so now i have it split up but it's still kind of boring so I'll show you guys what to do with that right now. So let's go ahead and just delete the rest of this clip. I just want it to be a short edit. Also, you'll see here there's an ending right here with CapCut. If you guys don't want that, click it and delete it. So now the video just ends. But since the audio keeps going, the video is going to keep going. So go to the end of the video, split the audio, and delete the rest of the audio as well. So now we have about a 10 second clip. First, I'm going to make this look a little bit cooler by adding a filter because all the old montages had a cool filter on it. So let's click on any of the clips and go down here to filters. Let's find one that we like. I want like a bluish tone like this. And we could turn the intensity down by dragging the slider to the left. I'm going to go with pumpkin right here. And you can turn the intensity up and down on it if you'd like. Hit that check mark. Click apply to all at the bottom left if you want to apply it to all the clips and now you can hit that check mark. Okay, so now let's make these clips a little bit more fun. So click on your first cut. Down here you'll see animation. Now you can change the in animation, the outro of the animation and both in and out. So I'm going to start with in right now and just do like a shake. Also, you'll have to click on this none if you want to get rid of one of them. Like I accidentally had a combo, so it wouldn't let me choose an in. So I'm going to click on none for combo and go with in and choose one here. You could change the duration of that animation. I would say change it up a bit, add some combos. It's actually pretty cool and it hasn't even been that long. This is a super quick edit. It's taking me even longer because I'm trying to teach it. But if I were to just do it, it'd be super fast. Now let's add like a really cool overlay, like an old VHS overlay on this. Click off of the video track and go down here to effects, video effects. And there's so many free ones, so you can use these categories up here to find what you want. So I want like a retro one, the so retro or even TV would be cool. So I'm going to click that and click check mark. Now I'm going to drag it to the far left and all the way to the end. So basically whatever this is under or over is what it's applying to. So if I only have it right here, it's not going to be on this last clip. Also between each split, you can see there's a button right here. If you click it, you can add a transition. So let's say we want to add text at the beginning of our video. Go to the very beginning and click on add text. You can also access auto captions right here, which we saw earlier. There's stickers, which there are so many of them. You can also speed and slow clips down by clicking on that clip and going to speed, normal, and you can adjust it right here. Also, you can use this cutout feature, which will cut out like people or objects. 
automatically, which is crazy because you don't even need a green screen. It'll just do it. So let's watch this whole thing. That's going to be it, guys. I recommend using this software a lot, even if they didn't sponsor me. It's such a great piece of software. I use it to edit all of my videos. So if you guys want to see in-depth guides on this for mobile and PC, like the video, comment down below, do all that stuff, and I will make more. Thank you again, CapCut, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.